You know that person in your life that only calls you or comes to you when they need something? Regardless if it is a coworker, a neighbor, or a family member, it can sometimes be annoying. Well, would you be shocked to know that we do the exact same thing to God when we only pray or read our Bible when we want or need something from Him? Why do we as followers of Christ sometimes live this way? It is because God is not always first place in our life. We do not always allow Him to sit on the throne of our heart. Too often, we have God on the side of our heart in a glass container labeled, Break in Case of an Emergency. There is nothing wrong with going to Jesus when we have issues. Trouble and struggles are a part of being human. In fact, Jesus said, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. But should we then treat Jesus only as our personal problem solver? Or magic genie, going to him only when we need something? Or should we be having that close personal relationship with Jesus during the good times and the bad? Paul sums it up like this. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. All means during the blessed and the difficult moments in our lives. Jesus tells us that he wants us to live an abundant life. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Well, in order to have that abundant life in Christ, regardless if we are having an amazing mountaintop experience or struggling through a valley, we need to be praying continuously, thanking God continuously, and digging into God's word continuously. See, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, and through that sacrifice, we are saved if we genuinely believe in him. But believing in Jesus is a one-time decision. Following the Son of God is something we need to choose to do daily. Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Christianity is not just another religion. It's a personal relationship with the creator of the universe. We need to make sure not to go to God only in case of an emergency, but walk with Him daily, giving Him praise and thanksgivings from our hearts, not because we want something, but because we simply love our Savior, Jesus Christ. Dear God, thank you for your love and patience with us, Lord. Thank you for the blessings you provide for us. Forgive us for the times that we are going through the good times in life and we fail to acknowledge that our good times are a result of your blessings you give us. Forgive us for the times we only go to you when a problem arises in our lives. And help us focus on you daily so that we can grow in our walk with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.